Hi, I'm George, development chef at Cook and the creator of our new cauliflower cheese. The obvious pairing is for a roast dinner on a Sunday. We're here today just to show you a couple of different ways to serve it so you can have it throughout the week and enjoy it all the time. So let's get into it. One thing to note is that the cauliflower is best defrosted when you want to make these recipes. So put it out of your freezer and pop it in the fridge the night before and you'll be good to go. First up, we have our cauliflower mac and cheese with crispy bacon. What we need is some smoked streaky bacon. Simply slice up and fry over a low heat until it goes super, super crispy. Towards the end of that, we're gonna add rosemary to garlic cloves, just to infuse and impart some flavor. Whilst our bacon's cooking, we're gonna start cooking our macaroni. Once your macaroni's cooked, drain it, dress it in with a little bit of olive oil and just leave it to one side. In the same pan, decant your cauliflower cheese with a splash of milk. Stir gently until it's warm through. When the cauliflower is hot, fold back in your cooked macaroni. Add a little bit more cheese, stir in gently. Pop your macaroni mixture into a oven-proof dish, top with some breadcrumbs and some extra cheese that goes really, really crispy in the oven. Pop in the oven 200 degrees for about 10 to 15 minutes until it's nicely coloured. Take your macaroni cauliflower cheese out of the oven, serve it up on a plate with a side salad and then sprinkle over your crispy smoked bacon lardons. Absolutely delicious. The second recipe we have for you today is our cauliflower flour cheese pie. What we've done here is to can our cauliflower cheese into a saucepan with a splash of milk and warm this up. Halfway through heating this up, add a good handful of peas, some extra cheese. Once it's all hot, decant it into an oven proof dish and top with some short crust pastry. It's then baked at 200 degrees for about 20 minutes until the pastry is crispy and lovely and golden. We've served it up here super simply with some green beans. If you are extra hungry, feel free to get some mash on the side. That will be incredible. These are just two recipes that we've come up with. If you've got anything else that you think will really jazz up our cauliflower cheese, just let us know in the comments below.